I woke up this morning, start thinking about procrastination, really. And I was looking into the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. And the Bible was really talking about there is time for everything. And I was like, time for everything, that is for real. There is time for everything. Sometimes people don't understand people who procrastinate. Am I saying that procrastination is good? No. Procrastination is not a good thing. But there is a struggle with people with procrastination because they always look at the time. And when they look at the time, it's 10 a.m. And they're dressing. They're dressing up in their mind. It's still 10 a.m. If it's uh, an issue between spouses, I'm trying to help somebody out there that you you kind of like get like get angry with your spouse that come on you've been dressing up for a long time what what are you still doing listen to me it's the spirit of procrastination those who procrastinate do not um, understand time in their mind they are still thinking the time that they looked at 10 o'clock 10 a.m they look at is still 10 a.m it has not changed but time does not wait for anyone. Time keeps moving. So if you are a procrastinator, I'm coming to help you today that you need to understand that the time is not waiting. It's not stagnant. It's not still. The time is moving. It wasn't at 10 a.m. you saw in the five last five minutes. Ten, it's now 10.05. Keep moving. Keep doing what you're supposed to do. Keep uh, picking things up and doing it right, doing it at the right time because God works with time. God is a God of time. It's, uh, there's an appointed time for everything that God has given to you to do on earth. So don't procrastinate. Keep moving because the time is moving. God bless you. May you excel, exceed in everything you lay your hands upon to do. In the name of Jesus. I love you. Ciao. Bye-bye.